I want to be more bold. Let me try something. Let me just try a thing. If I don't like it, then I don't like it. Let's be bold. Boom, I don't like it. Nice. <laughs> Russian sounds cool. German sounds racist. I'm sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to say I'm going to cut that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. Bro. Edit that out. Because that's the second time. They're going to be like, she just doesn't know it at this rate. Yeah. Wow. And you didn't get the first one. I'm embarrassed. You want to know the answer? Yeah, answer? I do. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> It's so, that's like really embarrassing. That's like not going to focus. Is it dark over there though or something? Um, a little bit. It's starting to get a little dark outside. Alright, uh, cool. I don't mind. Can you sit in front of the... Can you sit on the couch real quick? I want to test. I want to test the camera angles. And put this on. It's so the traffic is so bad. Whatever fuck I know man, like they're doing construction everywhere, bro. It's construction? Yeah. I thought it was just like regular I mean, where are you coming from? Well a lane was it was a lane. Yeah, it was construction because it was a lane that was closed. Most things I've most times I've had hmm? most times I've been in traffic, it's been because of um, construction. Yeah, we get new roads like every year. So. I don't need this for real. It's in the way. I don't know where to put it though. Mm. Do you like to watch things when you work? Uh, yeah, I do. Alright, uh, cool. So I was gonna like watch something, but then I was like, maybe I shouldn't. No, it's cool. You can watch it as long as it's not too loud. Yeah. Put on the mic. I'll put that there for now. Let me look at that. Mm. I was like, what, are, what should I make? I mean, you can do it for your life. Yeah, because I have like pants that I need to finish, but. I still have to roll up. We're not starting yet. But like, I'm just checking to see if everything's okay. Because I'm going to do this camera angle too, right? Okay, it's decent. You look nice. Thank you. you look beautiful. So, like, how many, how many of these are you going to do? Are you going to do like a, like a series? <sighs> Yeah, so I've got a few other people lined up. At least three other people I've already talked to. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's nice for me to start with someone I've already hung out with. Yeah. That's a bit. And now you, it's like cool. You get to paint the little me and the big me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would be a nice little part to the video. Be like, yo, it's my client. Well, I have to introduce you anyway. So. Yeah, yeah. That'll be in there. All right. I should have got a water. What'd you say? I should have got a water. Water. Yeah. Ah, that is true. I don't have any. In this. I've cool. got juice though. Oh, okay. That, that works. Yeah. Give me a sec. Something is like wrong with my car. I don't know what's going on with Yeah, me. what happened? I have no clue. I got into an accident the other day and what? it just hasn't been the same since. What kind of accident? Like the person in front of me stomped on the brakes and I hit them. Ah. So, yeah, that was... That's Fun. not nice, isn't it? So wait, did you have to pay them? Because uh, Loki apparently still your fault. Yeah, I guess it is my fault, but I have no fault insurance, so. Okay. Must I guess nice. it's no one's fault. <laughs> yeah. You want some Plus ice? She kinda, huh? You want ice? Um, no, I'm fine. If it's already cold, yeah, it's good. I, bet. I swear I brought this other hook wood. It, All right, as cool. usual. Oh, here it is. Everything seems a okay so far. I can stop the test. And now, I don't know. This song was a bit too direct, I feel like. The camera? Uh, This one. I mean, to be fair, it's meant to be for you only, so. Maybe if I zoom in. That's nice. Yeah. So, what happened to. You said you're not drinking right now, meaning like you normally drink. Okay, so when I drink, I try to like plan for it because 
I feel like it takes a long time for my body to get rid of that, like, out my system. And tomorrow I'll have, like, an all-black party. Mm. And that goes from 9 to 2 in the morning. And Shit. it's my best friend's birthday. Okay. So you just, I just know I'm going to be drunk yeah. all tomorrow. Makes sense. So today I kind of want to, like, I'm, like, crazy. I'll, like, clean up until, like, 3 in the morning today just so I can come home tomorrow. And it'll be clean. I hear that. Man. After, because I know on Sunday I'm not doing shit. I'm gonna be drunk still. <laughs> so, yeah, because I was supposed to go over her house and like have drinks because she cooks at her mom's house. Her mom's house is right from around the corner. I was like, girl, I can't come over and drink with you today and tomorrow. Yeah, that's too much. Man. Hell yeah, we can smoke, and she yeah. doesn't smoke, so I'd be like, she don't smoke. Yeah, it's something. It messes with her stomach. You know, some people get into the mm. stomach and stuff. I mean, maybe the first few times. Right. No, she had to go to the doctor and shit. Like, she couldn't eat and make her stomach, like, I don't know. I said, I don't want those problems. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> I'm good off of those problems. Yo, this is lit. It's looking nice. Yeah. Okay, I can't wait to watch the YouTube video now. Are you fooled for episode one, man? Okay, look at these pants I'm making. All right, let me, let me, let me cut over here. All right, I think quick I'm cut, gonna... test round, you know, done. That's better. I'm on two cameras. You can say hi to that camera over there. Hi. Hi there. Hi. Over there too. All right, cool. So, boom. Um, these are my questions. This is not my intro. What's my intro? Okay, let me. Send it. This is also J House. I'm like so bad at keeping up with these damn hooks. Hmm? You would think I don't crochet the way I don't keep up with this shit. Like, it's like losing all of your paintbrushes, bro. I was losing my, like, losing That's this normal. shit. Oh, here it is. That's literally normal. Shit Speaking is so of, irritating. I don't even know if my paintbrushes are okay, but it should be. Boom, let's, let's do this intro. I don't know how to start. How do I start my intro? How do I normally talk? How do you start them normally? Do you have like a one like one way that you start them? Normally I'm like, no one's hearing it, so it's always me talking to myself. It's like huh? boom, what's good guys? Welcome back to the channel. I feel like you should start off like that then. Yeah, I did literally that's it. Yeah. We started. Welcome back to the channel. Uh it's your boy Shinobi, my friend. London. And today we got show and tell. It's officially the first episode, isn't it? So might be a bit shaky, but Trying to have a true vibe, nothing too serious. We're just relaxing and talking, and I'm painting her. So yeah. more pressure on me, really, because <laughs> I have to get your likeness somewhat close. Yeah, I just I feel thought like, about that. I trust you. I feel like you got it. Don't trust me now. That's worse. <laughs> oh no. I have no faith in me, and then if I flop, it makes sense. I'm like, it's okay. It was meant to happen. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, um, that's really it. That's the intro. We can get into it. Oh. I think what. Well, Oh, I should talk about my materials. It says it on here. I got a teleprompter. Uh, you talk about your what? My materials. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I need to tell them. So I'm going to be working in oils, obviously, because that's what I do. Um, I would do acrylics, but I don't want to I don't want to get them up. I don't know why. They're right there, but I just... This is already on the palette, so it's easier for me to just go into it like that. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. We can start off. With an icebreaker, I don't really have any ideas. What was one of the questions? Oh, my questions come later, man. Icebreaker activity is more so... Hold up, what do you mean the device is not compatible? That's crazy. Okay, icebreaker, what do you think is going to be the most difficult part of painting me? <laughs> That's just a question. It's the icebreaker. <laughs> no, I feel like... Okay, okay, then you have the <laughs> No, that's a, okay, that's a good question, though. Hardest part would probably be, I mean, I'm painting your face, so it would be your face. The, <laughs> what, you mean what part of your face? Yeah. Mm, it would depend on, like, what pose you end up resting in, but. Well, I'm not going to be doing, I'm probably just going to be, like, sitting. I don't think anything should be harder than anything. Okay, that's good. Because that's how I like to approach painting. Yeah. I don't think of like... anything being too hard, otherwise. I'm checking myself, so yeah. Everything is as hard as everything. That's what we're going with. Um, icebreaker technically is two truths and a lie, but I never know how to play that game. 
Two truths and a lie. Yeah, man. I'm always. I like, know. I, you can always yeah, tell which one. Yeah, I'm like. I just okay. thought about the last one. No. Wait, gotta give give us like a minute to think of it. Yeah, take your time. Take your time. Uh-huh. Take your time. Hmm. But yeah. Uh, okay, I don't even know how I normally start my pain as well. Oh yeah, I need to do a wash first. So cool, you have time to think. Loads of time. Okay. Yeah. I just need to make sure this is hmm. everything okay. <laughs> you good? I'm talking to myself. I can't even see myself. My sight is getting really bad, so you can see. Oh yeah, you wear glasses, don't you? Sometimes. 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 Sorry. Man, I could have made that one. <laughs> Visibly challenged. Oh, yeah, see? You could have. You could have. Because uh, I'm so bad at this. I really want to. I haven't had the You have a right to remain silent. Okay. So you can think. Oh, yeah, I didn't even open this yet. I wanted to use a fresh canvas. Uh, how nice of me. I could use a dirty one. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Would I get a fresh canvas? Okay, I know my two truths and a lie. Okay. I took my two. Wait, my I, didn't friend... even, I didn't even think of one. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Do mine first. I was then. stuck. Okay, yeah, you can go. On I then. um, I took my friend tooth completely. Oh. Uh, my favorite color is black, and I've had a tarantula. You tipped your front tooth completely. At what age? I can't give you any feet. Like those are just my. It's no okay. backstory to anything. At some point in your life, you tipped your front tooth completely. That's that's what my that's what my lie is. And then no, I'm just asking. Okay. I'm I'm trying to remember what you said. You uh, my that. favorite color is black. Okay. And, and then, um. Ooh. I've had a tarantula. Oh, tarantula, black front tooth. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> it could be any of them. That's I know. Crazy. That was a really good wow. one. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Favorite color isn't black. What is it? I don't know. I feel like it's a, it's a, maybe a pink or a purple. Not because of a girl, because I feel like you said it. And also the painting, you didn't mention black when I asked you about colors. I don't remember you saying black. But I could be wrong. So you're saying my lie is black. black? Yeah. You're right. Yes. Oh, hey, this is crazy. It. All right, my life. Yeah, my life. favorite color is, color is obviously pink. My whole room is pink. This purse is pink. Like every essential item that I have is like pink. Why wearing right now? Yeah. Pink. That's what's up. I didn't even know that. Man, yeah. psychic. Where's the what's the block? I need to light this. Okay, your turn. Give me time. I need to even set up. <laughs> I don't have my paints out yet. Okay. Okay. I need to get my burnt sienna. That's uh, my wash. The thing about this is like... And this is going to take a while to dry, so low-key, I should have done it time ago. But I do say it looks good on time-lapse, so... Yeah. I'm going to have to switch the time-lapse to that one there. Or I can just film it real time and then speed it up later if I need to. This is also j House. Everything you make is cold, but you can't even hear it. I'm sorry. Bro. See, this is the one thing, bad thing about this. What? It's tangled up. How do you untangle it? Just take that? Basically, Ish. tangle it into a bigger knot. Finally get it untangled a little bit. You ever cut it? <sighs> yeah, I do, but I don't like to. Yeah, it sounds a bit disruptive. Because then you have to like... Destructive? Is that the word? Yeah. Yeah, destructive. That's the good thing about this. I don't have to shout because my mic's right here. I know. I could just talk into it like this. But you might not hear me. Um, fucking. Oh, yeah, I need to think of my lies. Okay. I don't want to do favorite color. That's too basic now. Because you've already done it. That would have been my easy one. Um. Mm. Mm, I feel like you know enough about me, so I can't say that one. Eh? 
So let me let me change it up. Uh, I ain't seen you in so long. I was feeling kind of jaded. Way too long. I've been waited. I just waited. I wasn't bodied. Wasted. Wait, wait. Think, man. What other things do I know about myself? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know shit right now. Damn, son. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Okay. All right. Boom. Mm. I lost. I lost the first two now. I forgot them. I remember the last one because I just made it. I forgot the first two. That's crazy. The hell. Okay. Okay. Uh... <laughs> okay. I'm fluent at French. Mm-hmm. I'm an only child. Mm-hmm. And, um, oh, I forgot it again. That's crazy. Man. I'm tired. <laughs> I have to remember. Oh, my days, bro. Only child and oh, and I love anime. Mm, your only child. If you not lie, huh? If you not lie, is that what you're saying? Oh yeah. Ah, wrong. I'm sorry. Huh? That's wrong. Your only child? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I see. So you don't love anime? That's the easy one to get. I do love anime. So what's the lie? I'm an only child. I mean, sorry, the lie is um, I'm fluent in French. My bad. So you don't speak French? I speak French. I'm not fluent. I tried to learn it. Yeah, I'm not fluent, man. I'm an English speaker. I speak Yoruba, my, my native language. Yeah, obviously. I knew you were fluent in another language. That's yeah. I thought you were fluent in... Sp- but, man, nah. I think I've heard you speak French. It's pretty fluent to me. <laughs> it's not fluent enough. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like a five-year-old to any French person. Really? Yeah. Crazy. Probably like three, to be honest. Five is a five is a stretch. That's being generous. This is a small brush, but it's okay. Come on, camera. Yeah. I'm gonna have to zoom in at some point. Alexa, turn the volume up. Yeah, this isn't too loud. It's in your game when there's no need to ask no answer. You have been born to the early morning. All right, all right, all right. All right, so wait, I won that then. I'm getting distracted. I won that because I got you. I guess yours. Mm-hmm. You didn't guess mine. I know, that's crazy. Oh. <laughs> And I thought I was so right too. That's it. that's the even crazier yeah, part. Wow. Yeah, I was real confident in my answer. That's what's good. If you could learn another language, what would it be? Um probably Japanese or Arabic. Oh. I feel like you was learning Arabic. Yeah, I was, but I couldn't pick that up. Yeah, it's kinda tough. I can under like if I'm around people who are speaking Arabic, I can understand what they're talking about to like an extent, but as that's for impressive. like speaking it and like writing it, no. I feel like that's one like the, the language that I'm I'm like not even like because I don't like it, but I just find it so daunting. I could never even think about trying to learn it. Really, Arabic? Yeah, because like I grew up in Nigeria, right? So like, there's like loads of different tribes in it, and mm-hmm. yeah, I was a tribe. I'm not saying it right. I'm saying it with an accent. So if anyone's hearing me, don't judge me. I'm saying it with a British slash American accent. I was the people, yeah. They're like mostly Muslim, like a lot of them. So like, you hear, you grow up hearing Arabic basically. Okay. So it's like I've already heard it from young, and I already thought it was like hard. It's not like I just heard it when I moved, and I was like, oh, what the fuck? That's a weird language. I yeah. knew this from when I was a kid, and I was like, nah, I'm not learning that shit. Even Igbo, I wasn't trying to learn. So. <laughs> He said, "Learn." So, would you want to learn another language? Yeah, I still want to learn Japanese properly too. Yeah, because I, like I started at one point in my life. I or started... German. I would. Le- I would learn German. I like the way it sounds. Like I do. I don't it know why. Sounds so aggressive. I I like the way it sounds. Nah, I don't know about that one. Yeah, I'm sorry. 
Yeah. Maybe like Russian sounds cool. German sounds racist. I'm sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to say. I'm gonna cut that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. Oh, okay. Like, you get what I'm saying? Ooh. Russian sounds scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. German sounds like I don't like you or your mom. Like, why are you looking at me? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? That's what it sounds like. That's yeah. Okay, that's understandable. That's understandable. So like, I'm just not turned on by the idea of learning it or speaking. This. I have to cut this. So I'm uh, I got questions. small ones. Yeah. yeah. Right there. Period. So you so, said so. no, no, no German. No German, but but I maybe could, some Russian. Could do Russian. I could do. Oh, Italian sounds hard. Like, it's not even that cool enough for me to put effort into it. It just sounds difficult. Yeah. I feel like if I learn other languages and then I'm like, okay, I'll try you. I could do that. Yeah. Like, French is close to Spanish, so I could do Spanish, maybe. I could do Spanish. Mm. So, that's crazy. You talk about German. <laughs> it does, man. You can't lie. <laughs> Have you seen? Um, You're hilarious. Have you seen Inglorious Bastards? It's a good movie. No, I haven't. What's it about? Oh, it's basically a Nazi movie, but not really. I can't remember how it goes, but like I need to rewatch it. That's a good. That's a good. It's a good sign there. I don't remember. I need to watch it. Watch it. it. Yeah, I need okay. to watch it again. I'm put it on. Cause um, basically, I remember like it's like these American soldiers like infiltrate like Nazi Germany, in it. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah, they have a mission to carry out. But I remember one of them being a spy. My bad for taking so long to get started, man. Mm-hmm. We like that sometimes. I thought you wasn't gonna drink. Mm-hmm. I thought you wasn't gonna drink. Mm-hmm. You tried it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Told you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To be honest, I might be a bit faster, you know, and I'm a bit tipsy. You are? You do? I feel like I go slower. Really? Yeah. Uh -uh. Maybe because painting is just like, you really have to like, do you feel like you go faster when you get into detail on painting you tipsy? Detail? Uh, no. Yeah. Now, see, every single stitch has to be the same tension. So, like, I mean, you miss a stitch, you be like, yeah. damn, I yeah. missed a stitch like five rows up. Like, Crocheting Fuck. is different, to be fair. So, when did you even start? Let's, let's start there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When I was like a little ass kid, cause my grandma used to crochet. Grandma. So, grandma got you into crocheting. Mm-hmm. Mm. What did you study in school again? Psychology. Psychology? Yeah. Interesting. Major, you didn't take any minors? Hmm? Did you have any minors? Uh, I wanted to do an English minor, wanted. but I don't really know. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? What do you mean by you don't know? I don't know if that I want that to be my minor. I think I might want a minor in business. Okay. Why like, English? Because I like reading, I like... Uh, yeah. yeah, it's not the same. <laughs> you know, I like I like reading classical books, and then I would, like, anal- like, I would have a fun English class, like, just off the fact that I've read most of the classic books that there is, and I know which right. ones are actually, like, good, and then which ones are actually, like, but you know... Are you all right? Or? Do I write? Yeah. I write, but I'm, I don't like to, like... I feel like you have to write a lot in English. I would have fun, like, I would have, like, fun, like, creative writing classes, shit like that. Okay, that's a different thing. Mm-hmm. You do I that. mean, I would have my regular English class, but I would feel like I would be the teacher who had, like, a lot of extra English classes instead of just my, you know, basic English class. Mm. Fair enough. I need to put this somewhere. Practical. How's this? That's not practical. Uh, 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 uh. 
So why not like a, you could do like a, I guess to be honest, if you already know what you like to do and you don't need to learn how to do it, you don't need to go to school for it, do you? Mm. Uh, yeah. I don't think there's any crocheting classes. Um, I don't think there is either. I think you would have to go to like, uh, like College of Creative Studies to study like fashion and then you could probably do and like. And then specify? Yeah. Like CCA? You could do something like that. Mm. So yeah. I would, yeah, you're pretty good at fashion in general then. Mm. How would you do that? Yeah, and then I was thinking about doing marketing as a minor also because then you can, I could market in. And... So the rest position I got you in is that one there. What? Looking down at your hand. Okay. Like if you look down now, that one there. So yeah, if you can go back to that ever so often. That's okay. okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. One, two, what you were three, saying? Four. Do you remember? Um, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Memory be shit, man. I hate when that happens because I'm like counting mm. and thinking about what I'm saying. I completely forgot because I was trying to remember. You have to count. Yeah. Why are you counting? Um, it's a pattern. Right. So you have to count the amount of stitches. In the pattern. Okay, so is it? So what pattern are you working on now? Like, um, I'm making a hat. So that's just like a basic, like it's like a basic bucket hat pattern. It's not that hard. Hat. Interesting. Yeah. Once you learn it, it's like easy to mm. keep doing. Maybe, maybe intuitive. You're saying. <laughs> I'm too lazy now. I remember like one time in Nigeria in secondary school, we had to knit something, and all the boys just paid the girls to do it because I'm yeah. not learning that. It does take it takes a lot of focus. I can give it that. Yeah, I don't have that. Time. Mm, this might be hard, you know. I have to not be scared about it. Is this your first time being painted live? Being painted? Yeah, live. Uh, yeah. Interesting. It's a first for everybody. <laughs> Do you ever talk to your friends about your first times? Uh, like painting and stuff? And other things. Um, mm, like yeah, one friend. Only one. Yeah. Uh, I feel like me and all my friends have talked about our first friends. That's crazy. That's part of bonding, isn't it? I mean, I've had like the same best friend since like middle school, so that's kind of why. Mm. So yeah. That's fair enough. And then even, like, my other friends, like, my secondary friends, I've known them since middle school, too, because we all went to school together. So. Yeah. I've moved around a lot, so. Oh, that's probably why. I mean, even then, like, there's only so many friends I've made since my first time. I, mm -hmm. I think I might have told my friends at the time, and then, obviously, since I moved here, yeah, my new friends too. But mm. so did it just not happen like it happened recently? Mm. Relatively. When I was eighteen. What the fuck? So like five years ago. Uh how old are you? Twenty three. You're twenty three? Yeah. How old are you? I'm twenty two. So you said 18? Yeah. It was late, technically. Yeah. I guess. Not really. Yeah, not really, but like the age of consent in the UK was 16, isn't it? Really? Yeah. I, I what is the age of consent here? Probably 18. It was 16, but like, so like, everyone was like, oh, nah, man, when we turn 16, bro, 
it's gonna go off. That's what I was saying at least, but it did not for the longest time. That's crazy. And I didn't care, I don't think. But I only started. No, caring. it's sixteen years old too. Yeah. That's, yes, that's crazy. I did not know that. That's wild. <laughs> this nigga really singing. But nah, yeah, it took me time because, uh, well, I don't even know, man. I was just pissed because people kept thinking I was already, like, in the streets like that. So, that's the thing, like, in, in, like, I had a boyfriend in middle school through, like, high school. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, like middle school, just until up until like high school, and and then I also had a boyfriend like uh like after like I broke up with my like middle school boyfriend, I had a boyfriend. I started dating like junior year, mm. so. What age was that? Um, I don't remember what age. That was like my. Oh, yeah, because your schooling is different than ours. Yeah. Like, the second to last year of my, like, the senior year is my last year. So, I was probably, like, 16, 17. Okay. That's a good age. I never had a girlfriend, though, so it makes sense. Still never had a girlfriend, so. Really? Yeah. Life. That's crazy. Yeah, it's worked out like that. Why? Because I move around a lot, so I've oh, been moving around yeah. a lot my whole life. So I was That'll a kid, didn't it? it? Yeah, like that's um, like my ex, he lives in DC, and that's the reason like we stopped dating for like we're still super close, super close and stuff. Mm-hmm. But him just being so far away, it's just like ass. Like that shit is so ass. Uh, it's tough. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do long distance, man. Yeah, that shit is ass. Cause, and then people be busy. So. Mm-hmm. Low key hurts more. High key hurts more. Like, is it worse if, like, your man is, like, nearby, right? But you haven't linked in, like, two weeks? Or. Um long distance and you haven't seen each other in like two months i don't i don't know like i it's been we graduated 2020 yeah it's 2023 yeah damn he's been away for like three years now so i'm like used to asking him like once every four months sometimes it'd be like once every six months because he played football so that's really like like once you play a sport or like you just dedicated to like a place once you really start like going to school in a different place like you have to dedicate a lot of your time there no matter what like no matter mm-hmm. what you're doing so i only see him like you know once a year two times a year sometimes when i'm lucky like we'll like go i'll hang out there or whatever because i have family in dc so i'll go visit them and then mm-hmm. like i'll we'll have dinner or something and type shit but I don't know I don't really mind like I don't really like I was into relationships and I have been like my one in middle school to high school was like two years and that was a lot for being like in middle school that's like like that's too young man I mean it wasn't we but the thing is me and him were like friends like we weren't like doing anything or anything like, it's we not were like young just, in terms like, of I mean like young in terms of like being locked in something already but we were like 14, 15. yeah, that's when you're like 13, 14. So it wasn't bad. And then like me and him were just friends. Like we started dating, but like we were so innocent back then. It was just like, he was like literally my best friend. So that was cool. Mm. And then the new person I started dating, I started, I dated him for like, like three or four years. So that, that was some crazy shit. Um, so after that, I just really don't mind. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Damn. So just for like a little while, like I did him for probably like two months. Yeah, probably like three that's or four. I know that's the longest time, right? Oh yeah, sorry, my bad. I thought you meant 
literally love. Um, that's just a figure of speech. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, yeah, so that's how I really feel about it. Like, I don't mind being away from my partner now because I like having my free space. I'm like a very independent person and my social battery gets drained fast. So social like, battery. I don't mind being away from people for like months on end. But Even like so my many... family, they'll be like, London, where are you? Because I haven't seen you all month. And I'll be like, well, I'm just up the street in the house, relaxing. Interesting. So yeah. physical contact isn't important to you? Um, no, not really. That's fine. Yeah. That's not really. Because, like, I don't know. Yeah, no, not really. As long as we have, like, good communication and we still talk, like, physical contact isn't, like, that bad. Um, communication will make it worse for me. Yeah, I feel like as long as that person is like the time that we do spend together when we do have time together, as long as it's meaningful and I, I'm still having like fun with you and stuff like that, I feel like that doesn't really matter. That's fun. Yeah. Because I'm not a person who just be clinging to everybody. I don't like that many people actually. Like people get on my nerves very easily. So, like, even my friends, like, all of my friends, I've had them for a long time. So, mm. it just kind of show. And my new friends, like, we're cool, but it's, they come, like, rarely. I, like, stick to the people that I know for real. That's fair. Yeah. What about you? I mean, I don't do really a, have a choice because, like. Could you do it? You said you couldn't do a long distance. Oh, what, long distance? Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't. I just couldn't. I I love physical contact. Oh, physical touch. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, physical touch. And like, if I really like you, it's gonna be worse if I talk to you every day, but I can't see you. Yeah. Because like, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> I need you to be like, at least if I don't see you for two weeks because you're busy. That's one thing. But if I can't physically, like, pull up, or even, like, you know, I can't do that, I don't think. Because I tried it once. I, I've i never been in a relationship properly, but, like, obviously, before I was... I went when I was in school in it, and petty relationships, so, mm-hmm. like, one long-distance seven-month thing. That was not working for me, bro. I, 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 did, I hadn't done anything at that point then. But still, the fact that you didn't go to my school, that was long distance, man. Like, I can't even take the train to come see you because my mom's not going to let me. So <laughs> it's like, nah, man. I, now, I mean, maybe if I had more money, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, I had freedom like that. I could just travel, whatever. But even then, it's still like, but it's and I that's don't another nice thing about it is if they're out of like long distance and like if it's like across the country or like I mean like overseas or something, mm-hmm. then that's kind of like an extreme. But if they're not too far, the nice thing is like you get to like go to a different state for a little while and mm. it's almost like a little vacation for you. Yeah, that's okay. And and that, I, that's yeah. the one nice thing about it. Well, yeah, but I still want to see you more often. Than yeah, my girl still. I get that. Like, it's nice to do a vacation thing when we get to know each other. Like, I've traveled for a girl before, but never again. <laughs> Why? What happened? Uh, it was a horrible experience. Damn, really? Yeah, it was literally, literally one of the worst things ever. Why? What happened? Uh, I don't know if I want to talk about it on, on YouTube, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a bit deep, man. Like, it was mad, but yeah. Long story short, it was crazy. horrible. Man. Never that again. has never happened to me. I should probably take a picture to be fair, just in case. I need to finish this off later. It's possible. Oh, this camera is not. not gonna work. I just keep it calm. This is what happened. He looks slightly to your right or left.
No, no, no. Oh, let's, let's... Yeah, there you go. Thank Not you. knowing my left and right is crazy. You go. But yeah, man. You ever travel for a nigga? Hmm? You ever travel anywhere for a guy? Travel with anybody? Anywhere. Have I ever traveled anywhere? To see yeah. a guy. Huh? To see a guy. Uh, yeah. My ex, he lives in, in nah, D.C. Nah, for the first time. Uh, no. That's I'm not doing that. That's yeah. too risky. Yeah. Not for the first time. That sounds like I'm gonna get kidnapped. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> no, safety. Facts. For sex traffic or something. I watch too much uh Law and Order. <laughs> no, you watch more than that. Huh? You watch way more than that. Yeah, I watch Hello Law and Order and Criminal Minds. Oh hell no, I'm not going nowhere with nobody, I don't know. What is it with women in like Serial killer, like I don't shows. know. It's too many crazy people out here nowadays, you know. And that's why you watch them. Hell yeah! I'm like mentally prepare myself. <laughs> so did you watch the Jeffrey Jeffrey Dahmer thing? Um, I never saw it. Yeah, I think I watched some of it. It was more like it was more like um, it was good, but it was more like a reenactment. Yeah, like. I don't want to say cinema, but like cinema, it was more like TV. Mm. It didn't scare you enough. Yeah, it wasn't like real, like it was realistic, but it was like and like the way they animated the like. The, so you want more, basically? Huh? You want more violence? No, not more violence. Just like the actual facts of like what happened, because I mean, like I feel like that was like. They were okay. trying to reenact like the scenes of what happened, and that I don't need that. It was dramatized a bit, apparently. I never saw it, so I don't know. You didn't see it? No, I never was. I don't watch stuff like that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> why not? Because I don't, I don't really have time to like. You don't want. Don't you don't want to see that type of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, I don't care for it. I don't really think I do. He said, "I'm good." Like, I try. I try. Like you is the closest I've come to that. And I didn't even finish that. Yeah, I didn't really watch that. Interesting. That's, that was just like pure drama. Like, I don't need to worry about some guy stalking right. somebody. I hate drama so much. I was just like, okay, this is a lot. Yeah, I got too many anxiety attacks from it. I was like, I can't do this. I kept screaming at the TV, man. Like, Yeah. Like, you keep killing people. What's going on, bro? There's other ways to solve things. Right? I was like... And, no, and everybody's like so cool with him. Like, what? <laughs> it's scary because, you know, people be like that, though. Yeah, literally. Mm. Other than that, what do you watch? Um, I don't know. Lately, I've been watching like, um, like all my favorite like old movies like um or books that I've been reading I watched the movies like I watched Silence of the Lamb and Red Dragon again recently after I read the book oh, I've um, never heard of those Like TV show wise mm -hmm. There's like no real good like TV shows that I've been watching mm -hmm. I can't find any What genre are you into Um like thriller, horror. Mm. Um, you should try some Korean ones. Oh, my friend tried to say we should binge this one. Um, fucking something about silence in your soul or some shit. I don't know. It's a Korean yeah. drama, but like this guy was drowning and whatnot in space, so and they poked a hole in his throat to like get the war out. I don't know. Right, she looks terrifying. Me. But... I'm looking for new shows to watch. So, have you seen um, Alice in Borderland? Alice in what? In Borderland. Uh uh. It's like Squid Game, but uh, Japanese, and kind of different too. I should watch it. What is it like? Basically, like they get transported to this other world that's the same as this one but like post-apocalyptic 
okay. and they have to play these games to survive. They get like a visa for like a certain amount of days for every game you play. So you can't skip too many games, otherwise a laser comes from the sky and just pierces your skull. Yeah, it's crazy. You sound but good. It's really good. The games are crazy. There's games, there's game masters that they have to like face at some point that they put their lives on the line to. It's like a cat and mouse game sometimes, and sometimes it's like a mind game, like because like the games are based on like the on the deck of cards, mm-hmm. like the suits. So like hearts are games about. Um, psychological games so they test like friendships and stuff and then spades are like physical games diamonds are like mental games I think about you know intelligence and I think clubs is about deception something like that could be wrong but it sounds good yeah it's fucked because you see the worst type of people and they all get killed in the worst type of way too really yeah there's an acid scene, so. I want to watch it. You're going to love it. I can tell. Uh, have you ever worked with any, like, mediums before? Like, any other different mediums besides? I know you've done, like, ceramics and sculpture, but, like, what did you do, like, whenever you first started? Like, did, when you were, like, trying to figure out what you wanted to use? Uh, I was scared of painting for the longest time. Yeah, because that's some scary shit. Yeah. I like, don't know how people do that. All I used to ever do was draw, and the closest i come to painting was coloring mm-hmm. with color pencils. And I was, I was doing in Nigeria, and my auntie used to always say, like, oh, you should try painting. Actually, it was foreign to me, because firstly, I've never seen a paint in my life. Mm-hmm. I only see that shit on TV. I'm like, nah, man, that's 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 that other people thing. Like, that's hard as fuck. I can't do that. Mm-hmm. I'm just drawing cartoons. What do you mean? And then at some point in school, like, because you know everyone took art class. Yeah. We had to draw. I mean, we had to paint too. So that's when I kind of started, didn't it? So I kind of figured it out along the way, and like. Before then, I didn't really have any real focus. You know, I, mean, I was just doing pencil because that's the basic thing you can draw. With. Yeah. I don't think I really started doing painting until like COVID. Really. Before then, it was just always I draw in my that's sketchbook crazy. with pens. So you just picked it up one day and was like. I mean, I was painting. I, I painted in class before, but I never like. I never was like painting for myself. Yeah. Like that. I used to do commissions, to be fair, for a bit. But like in terms of like trying to paint sufficient or like themed work in oils, that was like COVID because I had so much time, and I just tried to learn it properly. Have, so, do you paint with oils? Do now you, I do. Yeah. Do you like oil painting or acrylic painting more? Uh, definitely oil painting. Yeah. Really? So, yeah, you can move a lot more free. It's like drawing. Acrylic is more permanent because, like, it, it dries fast. It's not like drawing. No, because, like, you can erase your pencil marks. You can wipe all the... I could wipe all of this and start over if I wanted to. Yeah, but... The only difference is I'm holding it all the way here. Once you get used to that, it's just... It's the same thing. You will think it sometimes. That's the thing. Definitely do because it was like I tried oils one time, and the thing is, they're super expensive. So, yeah. like that's a barrier to entry. Yeah, you over here buying expensive oils, and it, and you're wasting them because you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, that's why I have to <laughs> learn. And then I'm very conservative when I paint. I paint very thin, so <laughs> all these paints have been here for weeks. <laughs> I barely squeeze new things. I just dig inside of it. Yeah. And just find the dry, I mean, the wet parts. But with acrylics, that's dry. I can't use that anymore. I have to scrape it off. 
Yeah. I could leave this for two true. weeks and, you know, I can still dig enough in there. That's true. So, yeah, definitely oil over acrylics. But I don't hate acrylics, you know. My first so, how one. often do you paint with acrylics? Uh, not often enough. The last time I did it was, um, there's a <laughs> cardboard piece on the other side of that there. You can't see it. It's up there. So you, when we're done, I'll probably show you. Yeah. So my friend, it's on my YouTube too, actually. I painted it on YouTube. But yeah, I don't know. It's not my go-to. Actually, no. Tell a lie. The last time I did it is the painting right behind you. On cardboard. No, not uh, the one below it. This one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what, two... Two days ago, maybe even yesterday. Oh my gosh! So that's what I like decided to do because I have this one. I have this one um wall in my house, mm-hmm. so I'm just gonna start. Oh, I'm gonna start doing tapestry. Right. Um. Oh crochet. wait, I forgot to say, guys. This is my client that I painted. Uh, sister's keeper for. Oh yeah. Yeah. Go check that out if you ain't seen it. Now after that, take. Oh, like and subscribe. If you ain't done that yet, wow, look at me being professional. Definitely. That's crazy. What you were saying? Um, so I'm going to make, like, basically a wall collage like this, but just with, like, different pieces of art and mm. with, like, tapestry crochet so I can put whatever I want on my wall. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm going to make, like, a big sign that says London first. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> they might think. I mean, to be fair, if they know you, they know it's your name. Right. Yeah. I've had that all my life where they think I'm putting up a city and it's really my name. I guess I am, but like, it's really even putting up my the fact name. That you knew I was saying about saying it. Yeah. Thank you. Because I had signs saying London all throughout my room. Mm. Who are you letting in your room that doesn't know your name, though? Crazy. Hmm? Who, are you, who are you letting in your room that doesn't know your name? Uh, I just like to see my name all over the place. Ah, uh, so you I've always been it. that type of girl. I see that. That's cool. What is that color? Yeah, really I like the way it looks in cursive. And I feel like what else should I start with, you know? Like what other phrase is better than... London? Yeah. Paris? I'm joking. But then it really is really going to be confusing to them. <laughs> It'll be a joke. Three. Mm, interesting uh-huh. colors. I want to be more bold. Let me try something. Let me just try a thing. If I don't like it, then I don't like it. Let's be bold. Boom, I don't like it. Nice. <laughs> what? The color I put, it's okay. I'm going to go with it. The thing is, she doesn't look like you at all, but it's okay. Don't, don't look. Yes, it look. <laughs> I think it looks like me from this side of the canvas. It's backwards. Like the eyebrows, eyes, that's really all I can see, but... Yeah, it's close. Well, I feel like the spacing is all off. It might be a bit wider, but it's okay. It's for a filter. That's what we call it. <laughs> Artistic license. I feel like it looks like me. Fingers Maybe crossed. you just got to put the skin tone down and everything. Mm. Yeah, I haven't really done any skin. I'm trying to find the mid-tone I like. Because uh, I should make things easier. I don't really know if I have a process like that. Because, like, every time I paint, I always have to figure it out. What? Like, what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, I've done this before, but, like, what is this? Yeah. And that's probably because oh, I got so used to painting in that style with the, you know, paintings over there on the wall. Where I do the underpainting first. So, like, I've got so much leeway because i've already done all the hard work in the underpainting but when i'm doing like the colors live oh like a la prima that's what it's called educate yourself there uh not you i'm talking to them but yeah that one's a lot harder or this one's a lot harder because i mean to be fair that's because i'm putting pressure on myself i don't care <laughs> colors. it's all about the shapes i can fix the colors later that's the nice <laughs> thing about oils Shit, you know better than me. I could teach you. Definitely. I would love to learn how to paint. 
Yeah, I should start a class one day. I probably will, to be Definitely. Fair. You should host a class in here. That would be fun. It would be, but I don't know enough people that I trust to invite here. Yeah. Or enough people that even want to come here, to be fair. I could always say, you know, hey, yo, guys, you know, class. But I don't know if everybody on my Instagram is in Michigan, so. Mm. But I'm pretty sure you have a big following in Michigan by now. Uh, I don't go out enough. People need to know you, like, personally, to come out. I might have, like, five people come. <laughs> I mean, but still, that's a... Five people show up. That's scary. Right, that's still a <laughs> that's decent scary. amount of people, like... That's a lot of people. Yeah, it is. That is a <laughs> lot of people. Shit. Five people show up to learn how to crochet. You know how difficult that would be? So right. I should do a two-person class, you're saying? Basically. Uh... Yeah, you could even do like three. Max can do four. I feel like five with four. with four people. I feel like each person could kind of like group up and help each other a little okay. bit. Yeah, two twos. Yeah. Okay. Five people is kind of like that odd person out. You got to help them All extra because, right. oh. yeah, five is just too That's many. That's if I help them. <laughs> <laughs> right. I could just be here just like, hey, right, you know what you're doing. <laughs> you don't need me. You <laughs> got just give this. me the space. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm here for the vibes. Yeah, man. Relax. But no, nah, I don't even know what I would offer as a class because there's so much you could teach. Oh, yeah. What do you think people want to learn the most? Just do like the basics. So how to draw or how to paint? Uh, maybe how to like have them like sketch out something like basic. Like maybe just start with like fruit and then. Just show them how to, you know, blend out maybe an orange and a yellow, what colors to use. How to, to paint? Huh? How to paint them? Yeah. Okay. Like a, a 101 basics and then you can have like intermediate and like advanced, you know? Mm. So like have them maybe and do like a, um, maybe do like a month package where the five people that you're teaching get to come back for one month and every week you teach them something different on the same mm. painting, you know? Interesting. Because I watch like videos of people like painting, and I really don't understand what they're doing when they say mm. don't blend like your yellows with black, blend it with like browns or something. And I'm like to like create shadow, and I'm just confused. Oh, right, 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 right. Beyond belief, like that doesn't even make any sense. Well, it's because you don't really want to use black. Black flattens things. Yeah, but see, that doesn't make sense. I blend all my stuff it with does. black, and maybe that's why my. Stuff looks it's because black itself as a color just like it just absorbs everything so yeah. you can't really see like different tones if you just mix it and it makes it muddy a lot yeah definitely so, see just you know you a class to, like that yeah how to mix your own black that's easy you know yeah maybe just start with something basic like fruit because then they can get color theory down and stuff color theory hmm. i have to get that down first myself <laughs> I mean, and you have it down. Like, you may not have, like, the actual, like, step-by-step step down, but in, in practice, you have it down. Yeah, I have it on intuition at this point. That's fine. Yeah. But I don't listen in class. I just, I'm like, I know this already, but I don't need to listen. <laughs> I mean, you've been doing it for so long. Yeah, I have, to be fair. To be fair. But no, uh, I'll think about it. Sure. Yeah, that'd be cool. Would you take the class? Yeah, I would. Okay. So how much would you pay for a class like that? Because that's mm. another conversation. Depends on uh, if you catch me on a week that I got paid or if I didn't get uh, paid that week. Um, I hear that. Well, like one class or like four classes? like. How would you... How should it be structured? Tell me about it. Because, like, one class, like, you could get a lot of information in, but I feel like you have to cram a lot of information into one class. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if you did four classes, then that's, like, a guarantee that people will come back. Like, yeah, four you classes know? makes sense. So, like, for four classes, like, once a week, once per week, like, I do, like, maybe start off with, like, hold on, let me see my calculator. Hey, London. How long are the classes going to be? Uh, probably like an hour and a half max because I my classes are three hours long for the studio, to be fair, so that might be appropriate, but I don't okay. know if people have three hours. So maybe like 
75 per person for the month. That's like 18.75 per class, which is 18.75 per person. So, and then 75 times five people is $375. So that's like for for four hours out of your time in a month. That's not bad. An hour? Oh, I meant like three hours per class. So three hours per class? That's a lot, yeah. If it's one hour, that's decent. Yeah, so if you're doing one hour per, like, I was thinking like one hour because it's like still basic of painting. So you wouldn't want to give them three hours of, so you could you could fit too much in there, you know? Okay, one hour, 30, what? So you do like one color per class. So like maybe you do red one class, maybe you do yellow one class, maybe you do orange. I wouldn't do it by colors. What do you do? My first class would be how to fucking draw a circle. That's a basic <laughs> Because the, the basic of anything is how to control your hand. Yeah. That's, that's what people true. struggle with the most. It's not about colors and whatnot. Definitely. Firstly, can you do what your hand, you know, what your eye wants your hand to do? You have to learn that it's easy enough. Definitely. Because that's the, that's the hard part. So we'll probably paint circles and squares and shade them. You know, different sizes and all of that. All on the same canvas. Practice scales and tones at the same time. But on basics. See, I'm thinking about it now. See? You sound like you already got a plan. I know. I, I, listen, I think about it a lot. Because every time I paint or every time I draw, really, I break it down. I'm like, this could have been so much easier if I knew this way. Or if I thought about it this way earlier on. So, like... I feel like there's some gems I got to to supply, but I'm keeping them on reserve. People ain't ready yet. I'm gonna have to do a poll. We'll see. Hmm? I'm gonna have to do a poll on Instagram or maybe on YouTube. What's the poll gonna be? Like, do you want me to do a class? P O L. Oh, a post. Yeah, you can post it if you want. Not post a poll, poll, poll. P O double L. Yeah, can I get a print? That's what I really want. A print of this. You should make oh, prints. This? Yeah. How do you make a print? I've always wondered that. Like, how do people make prints of their paintings? Because you well, can't just like put that under the printer. I know they're not doing that. You have to let it dry at first. Then you take pictures in great lighting, even lighting. Uh huh. And then you send it off to a printer. Or you print it yourself. Oh. But the pictures have to be yeah, you they normally edit the pictures to like make it mm-hmm. closer to lifelike and take off all the glare and stuff because you can't you can't always take out all of it while you take a picture out yourself. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Me personally, I've got a printer that I work with, so I just have to take pictures of my of my work and then send it off to him on a Google Drive. A good, a good, a good, a good, a good drive. And then, um, yeah, he will let me know when he's ready. Low key, he's been taking his time with the last one, man. I'm <laughs> waiting, man. I'm like, yo, bro, I'm ready to start selling this shit, man. What's going <laughs> you can on? Hurry up, please. Low key, I need to hit him up. It's been a while. It's been a while. I hope he's okay, though. It's good to check on your people, see. I don't know if this is right, man. It looks all... All scraggly waggly, like, I don't know. Hold up. Look down quick. Mm. <laughs> A bit to the left. Edit that out. That's the second time. They're going to be like, she just doesn't know it at this rate. Yeah. She just doesn't know it's it. Okay. It's okay. They don't know. We don't have to put that in there. Because I didn't clarify if it's camera left or your left. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I need to be more bold. I'm being very tame right now, which is typical of me. Do I mind? Maybe. Maybe not. All right, let's do some art trivia. Okay. 
Question number one. It's too easy, so I'm going to skip to question number four. No, what is question number one? No, 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 no. no. Should I give you lifelines? Wait, what are lifelines? So, like, have you ever watched the... Um, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Uh-uh. Okay. Have you watched any game show? Not really. Okay, so lifelines are, like... Feud. You get, like, uh, either... There's like four or maybe three. So in this one for this quiz, we're going to have, you can skip one question. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be at a 10. You can skip one question. And um, I'm low-key copying the 90s baby show because it's my favorite podcast. But I don't know if I'm going to copy it to the T because they do minus for every question you miss. I'm not going to do that. That's evil. Right, you're gonna be out of the game real quick. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give you either a one or a zero. You know what I mean? So you can skip one question, mm-hmm. but one question you can call a friend. You can phone a friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I doubt you'd be into that. <laughs> um, you can ask for multiple choice on one question, and for one question you can ask for a clue from me. In fact, I'll give you three clues for three questions. So that's three plus over three, like, lifelines. Okay. Okay. You ready? Yeah. All right, cool. I think. So let's go. Question number one. Let's start off easy. This is one, the one. That's easy. Who painted the Mona Lisa? See, this is what we're not going to do to <laughs> It's art trivia, man. What do you mean? What do you mean? That's the easiest question. Mm-mm. It's embarrassing. Oh, no. Cut the camera. <laughs> we're off to a bad start. Ugh. Take it down. Take it down. I'm going to give you 20 more seconds. I'm going to start counting out loud at 10 seconds. I don't know. <laughs> you can use your life lines. <laughs> you can use your life lines. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll use the lifeline. What one do you want to use? Okay, what were the options again? Phone you can, a friend. Phone a friend, skip, multiple choice, or clue. One of your three clues. Um, skip. Skip. Wow, on the first question. Yeah, okay. I'm I feel, I'm having a feeling that you're gonna win this one very easily. Okay, okay. Skip out of the way. This man. isn't even gonna be a real game here. It's That's gonna okay. be more of a Okay, come on. Second oh, one. You know Let me just put the picture up here so I can paint from that. It'll be easy. What picture? The one I took of you. Hi, bro, got my way, man. Oh no, I'm already on photos. That's why. Okay, never mind. Never mind, I can't do that. Um, cool. I skip. So that's zero so far. All right, cool. <sighs> Normally it'd be minus one on nice baby, but we're not doing that. So okay, be nice because that's scary. Minus, oof, embarrassing. What's the first one? Question number two. Okay, this one might be even worse. Uh pray for you. Which famous artist is known for cutting off? A portion of his own ear. Can I describe them? Uh, I don't know why I'm having brain fart. I'll give you like. I know who he is. You can you can say one name. I mean, his name is very easy. Like, oh, it's Vincent Van Gogh. There you go. Yeah. See, perfect. <laughs> wow. And you didn't get the first one. I'm embarrassed. You want to know the answer? Yeah, answer? I do. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> So that's like really embarrassing. You that's like, like not knowing who the Pope it. is. <laughs> Look, um, it was um Da Vinci. Ah, Leonardo Da Vinci. Right, that's crazy. You knew this as well. That's crazy too. You gotta cut that clip out of there. Nah, nah. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Oh First my question. gosh. Okay. Basically, I was gonna skip that question as well because I thought it was too easy. Uh, that, you should have gave me the first question. You were talking about skip the four. That was it. 
<laughs> uh, that's crazy. Okay. All right, cool. So that's one, one hour two. Mm-hmm. I'll give you that. All right, question three. What art movement? Shit. Okay, this is easy. What art movement is known for its use of geometric shapes and primary colors? Geometric shapes and primary colors. Oh, is that like um modern art? No, I'll give you two more guesses. Take your time. Keyword shapes. Like, are we getting into geometric? Like, think about yeah, geometric shapes and primary colors. Think about shapes. Think about 3D shapes. The most basic 3D shape. That's looking a clue, but I'm not even. That's a free one. Are we yeah. talking like? Are we looking for like an artist here? A style. Oh, a style. Okay. Yeah, that's a movement style. That's what movement means. Sorry. It's very popular. You can't use your phone. You can't use Google. The right? way I want to pull my phone out so bad too. No. I can. No. No. That's um, that, would, that would defeat the point. Let's, let's pull another life. <laughs> what life plan would you like to use? Um. Uh. Multiple choice. Multiple choice. Yeah. Okay. I have to think about options now. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I need one more option. Uh, mm. Okay, it's very okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. So, A, pointillism. B, cubism. Three. I mean, sorry. C. <laughs> yeah, I said three. That's crazy. Three. Um, baroque. And four. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Why is there so many options? Okay, you want three options? Yes, I want three options. Nah, I have to give you a fourth one. Because it might be the one. You don't know. Okay. Four. Renaissance. Pointism? I know it's not Renaissance. Pointillism, Cubism, Baroque. Renaissance. Can I look up the definition of Baroque? No, that would give it off. Okay, now I'm going to go with Baroque because I know it's not what? Renaissance. Okay, Cubans, okay. <laughs> you got me on this one. Okay. For sure. This is the you're, hardest you're, trivia. You might be overthinking it. I definitely am. Okay. So I got to come up with one answer because I just gave you all I'm going to give you 10 seconds. 10, 9. Okay, is it Renaissance? Because at this point, that's the only one I haven't chosen. Final answer? No, I feel like that's just not right. Because mm. Renaissance, you said geometric shapes. Yeah, and primary colors. Keyword shapes. Okay, I'm going to go with pointism, even if I'm wrong. Final answer, pointillism? Okay. You say it, makes you want to um, are, you, are you yeah. done? Okay. I'm going. London, I am so disappointed. I am sorry. You were wrong. What was it? Cubism. Like, shapes. I handed that to you. Okay. Well, Come we're on. putting this on the thing. Cubism, to, you know. to look up. Do you know Pablo Picasso? Mm-hmm. Cubism. I'm looking this up right now. Go ahead. I'm going to let you do some Google before I ask you the next question. What is the concept of cubism? Cubism is a revolutionary new approach to representing reality invented around 1907. That's why I was saying are we looking for an artist because... 
you said geometric shape and primary colors, and Pablo Picasso is. That's like, one person that did cubism, but it wasn't the only one. But they I'm said saying, invented around 17, 1907. Yeah, he invented it. By artist Pablo Picasso and George. He invented Baruch. it, but he wasn't the only one to do it. So I said, what well, style involves yeah. shapes? The keyword was shapes. You have to just think of a cube. You definitely got me there because I was so confused. It's okay. okay. To be fair, Next. you might have not heard of it. Yeah, definitely going to um, brush up on my artist trivia. That was what, question three. So, yeah. one for two. One for three. <laughs> okay, how many? Okay, next one. Next one. Which sculpture is considered one of the wonders of the ancient world and depicts a man without arms? Damn. This one's tough. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but I don't know what it's called. Like, Leonardo da Vinci carved it, right? No. Probably. Because I, I, I just read, like, a new article about oh, it, actually, one. and they encased a bunch of uh, sculptures that they thought were going to be damaged during a bombing. You have lifelines. Um... I know I can't call on any. Okay, you're the friend that I'm calling on. <laughs> nah, you can use me as a clue if you want a clue, but I can't give you the answer. Okay, give me a clue. Clue. Uh, Greek. Oh, well, yeah. That, I know it's Greek. God. Um. Mythology. That's three words. You said that's what? Three words you can use there to give you a the clue. name. No. Greek God or Greek mythology God. You I can't really... search this. Just call somebody. They probably know this. Anyone knows this. Let's see. But I doubt it. That's the crazy. Actually, part. they probably won't know the answer to that actual question. But right. with the clue, with the <laughs> clue, be like London. <laughs> with the clue, they would know, because Greek gods. Think about them. <coughs> this is one of your lifelines, by the way, because I'm giving you a clue. Oh, you really got me here. Mm. I have no fucking clue. This is real bad because it's like the second one. Third, fourth, third. I mean, to be fair. Huh? Uh, that's why there's only one skip because if you don't skip, she's a minus. Low key. So you say that I got a minus? I only got one point. Do you know any? Do you know any Greek gods? Like Zeus. There you go. It's Zeus? Yeah. You said it's three letters. No, Zeus is I said four. I gave you three clues. Oh, uh, I heard you say I thought you were saying that the name had three the letters. The statue in it. is the answer is the statue of Zeus at Olympia. So Zeus. Okay, okay. That's like the only oh, one I know in uh so, you have to do was guess. Aphrodite. You know Poseidon. Yeah. You know Hades. Yeah. Percy. Wait, that's not that's a <laughs> it's movie. Percy Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> that's just the movie. Yeah. Percy's. Um Okay, so that's two for four. We nearly didn't get that one now. Okay. That was that was like a crunch. I really we have a the crunch there. It. Well, we got it. We got it somehow. Yeah, Alright, cool. So next one. Question five. Make this Ooh. one easy. Oh, this one might be. I don't even know this one. Oh, I do know this one. <laughs> who, 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 who is famous for? <clears throat> oh. Famous I really for. Choked. Good lord. Uh. <laughs> who is famous for? The Campbell Soup Cans artwork. 
Oh, this is crazy because I da, just watched like I was just watching something and they did like a, um Alexa, turn the volume down. Um, I need to hear you. I don't know. It's like a photographer too, isn't it? Or are you talking about like the painting? The painting. Okay, well, I really don't know anything. Um, do you want a clue? This is, this question is like a five. recent artist. I feel like I won't know this. Pardon me. This is cool. this was like a newer artist, right? What do you mean by new? Like 2000s. No. 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 Uh, probably late 90s. Okay. I don't think 2000s. I'd be surprised if it was 2000. I, I want to look it up now. Who is it? You want the answer? Yes, I don't know. I will not know. You this know, answer. you do know this. I. It's a. It's it's very famous. Do you, you have lifelines? Use them. Okay, what are my lifelines? I thought I used them. Phone a friend, and you have clues. You've already used Skip, and um, multiple choice. Um. Soup cans. Multiple soup cans. I have no clue. Do you want a clue then? Yes. You have two more clues there. Give me a clue. Okay, so I'll give you a clue that's not even related to art, just to his name in general. I'm going to try to think of one. Um, his last name rhymes with manhole. I'll give you an extra clue for free. It rhymes with manhole, but the first syllable is the definition of conflict between two countries. That's, I gave it to you. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Campbell? Like, I'm. Rams with manhole. Ramble? Uh, what? You said manhole? Yeah. Uh, and the first syllable is the definition of conflict between two countries. You're confusing me even further. I'm so confused. The first syllable of the same name, as of the last name, mm -hmm. that rhymes with manhole, is the definition. So it's two syllables. First syllable is the definition of conflict between two countries. That's all I can give you. If not, you're gonna have to get a minus in this one. I'm sorry. I definitely have a minus. You want a minus in this one? Taking it? Yeah, I'm so confused. Yes, yeah, you gotta tell me this one. Andy Warhol. War, conflict between two countries. It does not rhyme with manhole. Warhole, manhole. That doesn't rhyme. It sounds a little. It yeah, does it not... does. The way I say it. Okay, a little bit. See, <laughs> you could have gotten war. That was. Close I did not enough. know he painted those. Look yeah, the soup cans. It's like repetitions. I think they're prints or maybe paintings that are made to look like prints. That was a whole big thing about them. So that's a minus one. And you were on two, so that's one. That's not too bad. One out of five. Oof. Maybe not. So it was two out of four, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should we just give you two out of five? Are we being generous? What do you think? Yeah, I think we should do the two out of four. That sounds better. Okay. After question seven, we're doing minuses. Okay. That's a new rule. Be more nicer. All right, number six. 
Which Italian Renaissance artist painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel in Vatican City? Okay, we turn this art trivia off. What? Yo, this was easy though. No, it's not. This not easy. This. I'll give you a free clue. Okay. Do you know the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yeah. One of them has the same. I mean, they all have artist names, but it's one of their names. He's in D'Angelo? <laughs> Michelangelo. That's his name. Oh. But yes, that's the answer. I know like it was Angelo something. There's there's a there's a Donatello. That's why you mixed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll give it to you. I haven't seen that movie in so long. That's crazy. Same. There's a new one that came out. I keep seeing the ad. They keep saying, Why would you watch that on Paramount? Nigga, I don't have Paramount. What the hell yeah, do I look like? Paramount is crazy. Because what's even on there? I think Ooh. you can watch uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on like Tubi I'll probably want to watch it on the cinema. Tubi is mad. If it's on Tubi, that's mad because that's free. Let me look. Is it? I don't think I have Tubi. I've never used it. It might be on my PS4. Maybe. North Korea. Kim Jong Un wanna spray the machine. Wait, I can't sing on YouTube. I'm sorry. Wait, mm. what question was that? Number six. You got that right, didn't you? So you're on three out of six. It's not bad. 50-50. Yeah, so bad. Not bad. Not bad. How's your hat going? Um, it's going... It's going. Yeah. We could do a swap at the end you if you want. Because this is show and tell. Huh? I like bucket hats. This is show and tell. So. I know. I don't know if I, what kind of hat I'm going to make it. Like maybe into like a scully. Okay. If you don't mind giving it to me, I don't mind sharing this with you. Yeah. We could do a swap. You want, the, you want these colors? Let me think about it. After you make it, I can put it on a C. Yeah, because it's but like. I wouldn't mind. It's purple and blue, so. Hey, right, listen, I look good in any color. Yeah, I look good. Amen. I don't mm-hmm. date per se because I know I'm not in the position to date yet. Mhm. I feel like it takes a lot to work for. It takes a lot to make a relationship work, and I don't want to do uh, you know, just a wishy washy thing in it. So I'm. That said, like I already keep to myself because again. I'm always alone, mm-hmm. but because I like and I need human connection, I'll make a friend, make a smoke buddy. But like, this is definitely not gonna go on YouTube because they don't need to know this. <laughs> but like, it don't make sense. And I've tried a few times to like think about it, you know, with certain people because you know, mm-hmm. it felt like you know we had to like think about it. But, like, you know, it never panned out and it was exactly for the same reasons I thought it wouldn't because, you know, it's not logistically making sense. I'm stressing myself way too much yeah. for shit that I don't need to be doing. Like, So, yeah, I'm 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 single, but, like, you know, I try not to, like, fuck around because that's tiring. Yeah. I just find someone I'm chill with and then, you know, ever so often I have time to hang out and just... I guess I'm broken, man, because I've just had to detach a lot. Women leave easily, bro. <laughs> like, you have to just be like, oh, well, it is what it is. <laughs> like, quick thing. Yeah, that's true. But, I, like, you know. Yeah, especially, like, I don't know. That I, That's not true for me. Mm. Like, I don't really like, you know, new people. Like, I like the same people that I, you know, I like whether we're friends or whether we're really, in a relationship mm. so i find it's harder for me to like leave someone mm. that i've been with for a mm. longer time especially for someone new like that's just like you know that don't make no sense to me but well, girls nowadays will definitely yeah man. it's not convenient or same way right or hmm? it might just be the, the the wind might blow wrong today or i might have said something wrong what? I'm saying, like, that's how you, you never know when a girl might just be like, oh, yeah, yeah I'm out. 
could be anything. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. literally. I try not to think too much about it because men can be the same way. And I just like, and the thing with me is, I get so busy that some, I won't even notice that, like, I haven't talked to you. Like, that's the crazy uh-huh. thing. Like, I'll be, and it won't even, like, be, like, real, like, busy, busy. I'll just be so in my head that I'll just, you know, like, I'll be forgetting about other shit. Mm, okay. So. Yeah, well, let me finish these questions. So we can... Question seven. What famous painting? Oh, man. Oh, this one's easy. You can say I'll that give, about I'll give all, you a of all of them. Okay. They, they, they're a bit hard because they're all our questions. What famous painting by... Edward Munch depicts a figure with a distorted face standing on a bridge. Come on. Like, I'm not good with art history. This is just famous things. No, but you definitely It's because I art. see the names too, to be fair, but... I have distorted no face on a bridge. Look. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I have yeah. no clue who... who, uh, who uh... It's not who. It's the name of the painting. Uh, it's 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 describing what's happening in the screen. Painting. There you go, the screen. There you go. So what? Four out of seven. What a clap piece of. I like that hat. Look, it's so far. Man. I don't know though if I might swap it for this. This is looking nice. Okay. okay. I might give you a print. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, if I'm making a print, you're definitely gonna get it for free. Good, good. I really want one. I definitely hang it up. Yeah, definitely hanging up. Because I was filming there. All right, cool. Question number eight. Ah, this is annoying. They're all art questions. But it is art trivia, to be fair. So, cool. Which art movement emphasized spontaneous and automatic creation, often on the focus, often with a focus on the subconscious? So it's not reality, it's, you know, when something happens and it's like, it doesn't feel real. In your subconscious? No, something in life happens and you say it doesn't feel real. What do you describe it as? Like deja vu? No, it feels not real, but it sounds like real, but not real. That's what the word is. All right. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to give you a minus on this one. I just don't get this. Do you give up? Yeah. It is surrealism. Okay, I could have got that one. The real, come on, man. You had that. Unlucky. So, uh, you was on four out of seven. So that's three out of eight because I have to give you a minus on that. Okay. Because it was number seven, like I said. In fact, I was number eight, so it was plus number seven. All right, question nine. Oh, no, fuck that. <laughs> that's hard as shit. Right. <laughs> I'm going I'm to give you a random question from my head. Let's think about this. Um, What's a good question I could ask? A generic question. Uh... What's the, what's the word? What's the definition? What's the phrase? Uh, general knowledge? General knowledge question. Okay. Uh, how many days does it take the moon to go through a cycle? A full cycle? 30? Close 28? There you go. There you go. Ooh. No, you asked me. A little bit. Yeah. That's like having, you know, just knowing the months. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. New moon every month, you know? Like, oh. the shortest month is like 28 days. So. Some people don't know that. So, good one to you. Yeah. That's simple math there. Yeah. You got that one. Yeah. Well done. That's for yourself for sure. I try not to mess up this highlight right now. I'm cheating because I'm not using full colors. I'm just using simple colors. Right? <laughs> and hopefully you so, will. what's the difference between what simple colors and like full colors? Well, basically, I'm only working with like mid tones. I'm not really trying to blend the skin tone right now. Mm-hmm. And because like I'm using like limited palette ish, I didn't even plan to, but because I didn't really put out any paints, I'm only using 
like the most <laughs> available paint to my palette. Mm -hmm. So I'm only focusing on what will make you look like you and look uh, have the best contrast. But I'm not really going for accuracy with the colors. Okay. So yeah, it's just really contrasting graphicness with me, I guess, at this point. But there's always a chance of me fucking it up. So I like I have to like take artistic uh, artistic license at some point and stop trying to follow your face and just get a vibe for what it is I'm playing and go with that because I can already see the face. I just have to not mess what I see up. I mean, it's kind of tough to explain, but maybe when you see it, you understand. Ah, you for a good song. Ah, right, cool. Uh, question ten is horrible too. Fucking horrible question. Ah, right, cool. Question ten is for <coughs> my voice is gone. Question ten is for ten marks. I forgot to tell you this. So you was on what four? Mm -hmm. You can get fourteen. If you get question 10 right, it's going to have to be a hard question, though. I have to think of one that's off my head, because this is too hard. I don't even know this nigga's name. Um, I'll give you themes. What do you want to pick from? Let me see. Um, do you want... Okay, we have to say art, obviously. Art. Music. I don't like music. I don't know too much about music. Art, music, or geography? Mm. Like, which are my favorite? No, pick a theme. I mean, pick a category, and I'll ask you a question in that. Um, music. Music. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Mm, 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 mm. I could just ask you what's my favorite song. <laughs> so fucking hell. <laughs> uh, alright, nah. Um, okay. <laughs> what song by um, a deceased artist Denounces a son by a girl. Like, what are these descriptions? What, what is this? What song is a nigga basically saying, that's not my nigga, that's not my baby? Yeah, let's talk in, in nigga tone. <laughs> that could be like, <laughs> that's not my kid. Uh, that could be like so many songs. Yes, but it's a deceased artist. That nigga ain't alive no more. He did. R.I.P. You know this too. I literally don't. You do. I promise you. you like do. recently deceased? In this century, yes. Is the song like popular? Very popular. Billie Jean? There you go. Ah, oh, ten marks. See, easy man. Why are you overthinking it? How? Huh? No, because I was thinking Kanye, gold digger. I ain't saying shit, gold digger, but he never said that's not my kid. Guess he said, it is. Not his he, kid. Yeah, he says that. Uh, had it for years. eighteen years and when his kids. No, that's not my kid. That's different. That's what I said. But oh, hold okay, on, okay, you got okay. that. Hmm. So like, you draw or paint, right? Yeah, sometimes. When did you like probably start? Uh, probably like middle school. Mm. Yeah, I wasn't. I'm not like huge on painting and drawing. I'll do it every once in a while. How come? Huh? How come? Cause I like stuff like at the end of like when I'm done. I like stuff that I can put on. You know. Mm. Like I like stuff that I can wear. Hmm. Well, okay. When did you start crocheting clothes? Because you, you said your grandma taught you. But... Yeah, like when I was young. Like I was like a little girl, like seven, 
Eight. You was already making outfits. Hmm? You was already making outfits. Um, no, not outfits. I didn't start making outfits until like recently. I was just making like you know, just squares and shit. Oh. <laughs> Back then. It wasn't anything like Okay, do you wanna see it now? Yeah. Fingers crossed. So what do you think? Yeah, it looks like me. Does it? A little bit. A little bit. The cheeks and the eyes and the eyebrows. The forehead for sure. <laughs> hey man, I try man. I don't know. I don't know. I probably could have done better. But high five. Thank you. I feel like from the, the eyes up. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, I kept, you know, because you went up and down a few times. Definitely. Okay, yeah, I see from the pussy that you got. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. I see what you mean because, yeah, on one side of my face, it's almost like my eye is smaller. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Let me see. I could draw this out. Give them a little close up. I think that isn't a way, but you know what? Decent, man. For a limited palette. <sighs> okay. Pretty good for episode one, man. It's two hours of footage. It's going to be long to edit. That's good, though. But when do you edit everything? When I have to. <laughs> That's why I have no idea yet. Probably over the weekend. I'll so, try. how many video YouTube videos do you post? Do I usually post? Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Like a week. Oh, no, no. Huh? It's not weekly at all. On any level. You think you're the heart, though, like... Yeah, it's like... like last time I posted... A whole lot. Yeah. Last time I posted was, like, maybe 12 days ago. Uh, that's not bad, though. Before that, was, like, maybe two weeks, two months. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that's not bad, because it's technically two days. Oh, it's not. It sure does. And I do it all on my phone, so... Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm starting to stop a few times. All right, let me cut real quick. So.